This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Try changing the repeat loop. Oh, if you don't have this code, you need to go back and do the rest of the lesson. If you're confused on it, watch my other tutorials. Try changing the repeat loop to run a different number of times. How far do you have to turn to go in a full circle? 360. Try changing it 60 for six times. I, we, that's what I did. Ooh, okay, 18 times. That seems like a lot. And then we're going to turn 20, it says. Okay. I'm going to speed this up because that's a lot. <laughs> Whoa. What if I double this? 36. And if I double that, we got to turn 10 each time. We're turning less because we're going in a circle. That is awesome. <laughs> I love it. We can do all sorts of other stuff, right? Each time you increase this, what if I do 72? And then I'm going to decrease it by 5, because if I run this 72 times, I want to only go over 5, so we can actually see what I draw each time. Otherwise, it would all be stacked up, right? Because it would be hiding behind itself. <gasps> so awesome. <laughs> I'm actually leaving mine at that. So what you got to keep in mind is you just want to take in, take account for how many times you're running it and then multiply it by the degrees. You're trying to get that to be 360. So if this was 2, you would want this to be 180, so on and so forth. Anyways, let's keep going.